Tasha. Welcome back to Nisi Girls Tarot. Stop it. Here to do your first half of July reading for Libra. Just a Gemini. It's for Libra. First half of July. See what's going on with you guys. Hope you guys are doing well. All right. Do the other half probably Sunday. Other half of the zodiac. All right. So Libra, your overall energy is the Eight of Swords, okay? Now, it came out in reverse, so I'm taking into consideration that I don't really read, read reversals, okay? So maybe you're coming out of the energy of, like, keeping yourself all, like, you know, tied up, okay? Like, mentally, like, you're coming out of that energy overall, I believe. We'll clarify to see what that's, you know, what's going on with that, okay? With the King of Cups, it could be about love or someone, you know... That you have a lot of love for. Okay. In the recent past, four of wands. The Gemini just had this. Okay. But it came out in reverse. So I'm thinking like in the recent past, maybe a commitment didn't happen. Okay. Or this was about you stressing over commitment not happening. Okay. In the current energy, you get the three of wands. So it came out in reverse again. So again, no longer waiting. And it, the deck is not reverse. Okay. Because the king of cups is upright. Okay, so it's about definitely somebody that you love that you were stressing over, okay? But the Four of Wands coming out in reverse is like a commitment not happening in the recent past, okay? But with the Three of Wands coming out in reverse now and the current energy, it's like you're no longer waiting for that, okay? Um, in the immediate future, you get the Seven of Coins, okay? So this is you um, like sowing seeds, okay? Um, trying to put some things in place, okay? Looking to see like, you know... If I do this, what, you know, what happens from there, you know, reviewing a situation, okay? Your advice from spirit is the eight of cups, okay? It's to walk away from love, okay? It's to separate yourself from love. And we'll definitely clarify to see what that's all about. The energy of the person closest to you is the knight of cups. So this person is, is thinking about or has the energy of, you know, taking an act towards love. Okay, we'll clarify and see what's going on there. Energy is working against you is the three of cups. Okay, so that can be, you know, party and celebration friends. But I think that this is about celebration or coming together because the three of cups energy is coming together. So maybe you focusing on coming together, you stressing the eight of swords about coming together. That's what's working against you. Okay. And the outcome down, drop the mic, is the hard thing commitment it's like once you stop stressing about something coming together once you walk away from your emotions you know what i'm saying and start like focusing on you here comes the commitment look at that with that person that you love so much oh look at that okay let's clarify for libra first half of july let's clarify for libra resting and destroy my little one his big body purity moved my couch. Clarifying the Libra. First half of July. Mm. First half of July. All right, baby. Much better. So let's clarify this Eight of Swords energy overall. This is overall Eight of Swords energy for Libra. Okay, yeah, tower. Okay, so like, remember, I said you're coming out of that energy. It's like something happened where you were just like, you know what, screw that. I'm coming out of the energy of stressing myself out, you know, coming out of the energy of worrying about stuff that I cannot change, kind of building my own restrictions. Okay, I'm kind of out of that energy. Okay, because it is, it is just a matter of fear. Okay, it's, it's a matter of fear. It's about things not being clear. It's about, you know, the unknown, you stressing about something you can't control, all right? You worrying about something you can't control, all right? That's deceptive. You know that that stress was a deceptive stress. It's not something that was real. It's almost like um, an illusion. You're like, I'm putting myself through these um, this turmoil with the Eight of Swords energy, okay? So you have to definitely feel like something drastic happened where you're like coming out of that energy, Okay? Clarify this four of wands in the recent past. 
But the two of wands is, is like making a decision towards a commitment or making a decision that, uh, or towards a commitment that did not happen. I'm trying to choose a path, get some direction on it. Clarify again with this four of wands. Yeah, because it was stagnant. So you were trying to figure out where was it going, okay? You wanted it to, to grow, okay? That's my baby mama card, the empress. Okay, you wanted something to progress. You wanted to, it to be, you know, to grow, okay? With the empress card, she's usually pregnant, but it's also about being something being fruitful and growing, okay? All right, but it wasn't with the hangman energy, okay? It wasn't, all right? And so you're like trying to see where this can go, you know, but it just wasn't moving. That's why the four of wands came out reverse. All right, that was in a recent past. What is this three of wands? Okay, remember that three of wands came out in the, in the reverse too. Okay, it was about, um, that was the two of pentacles putting it back in. That's about like no longer waiting. Okay, no longer waiting for an offer. No longer waiting for things to come together. No one waiting, no more waiting for happy ever after. Okay, so you're like, bump that. Like I'm not gonna keep stressing myself about something coming together with the 10 of cups and the three of cups. You're like, I'm not going to keep stressing myself about that, okay? I'm not going to keep stressing about whether this offer is going to come through. It could be an offer. It could be an apology. This page of, no, the page of Pentacles is usually an offer because the page of Cups is usually an apology, okay? So just, just something coming together, someone coming to you and saying, you know what? I want happily ever after. You're no longer waiting, with, waiting for that in this current energy. That Three of Wands was in reverse, now you're like trying to review and look into something else. What is the seven of coins in your immediate future? You're like, okay, well, let me focus my attention on something else. The hermit, though, you're trying to be wise in your decision making. You're trying to like get some enlightenment, okay? About, you know, someone from the past Six of Cups energy. Maybe taking some time to really review a situation with someone from the past. Okay. What is this Eight of Cups energy as um, the advice from spirit? I almost, I almost think, I almost think that in the immediate future you will be taking time to really review some things that have happened in the past. Okay. So, one of my things that I um, that I say about tarot is that when they clarify by that same card, it's like I said what I said. So the Eight of Cups is clarified by the Eight of Cups and the Four of Coins. It's like really walking away from your emotions. Stop holding on to this. I think um, Spirit is saying like walk away. Stop holding on to this. Okay. With the Four of Coins. Okay. You're definitely holding on to something. Okay. The full energy. is like release. Release and go after something new. Okay. Let's clarify this Knight of Cups as the energy of the person closest to you. Are they taking an act towards love? What is this Knight of Cups? What is this Nine of Cups? Okay, Nine of Cups. It's like this person wants to take an act towards love because I do feel like they think that you are their wish fulfillment. Okay? It's like you are exactly what they've been wanting. Clarify again what this Nine of Cups is. Queen of Sword. Okay, they definitely may be using their head more than, you know, more than their heart. So they like thinking too much. It's like they know, but they don't want to believe it. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? It's like, I know this person is good for me, but I don't want to accept it. <laughs> Let's clarify this Three of Cups is what's working against you. Okay. What is this Three of Cups is what's working against Libra? Okay. Ten of Swords. Okay. It came out, but it went back in. What is this Three of Cups is what's working against Libra? Three of Cups, please, for Libra, first half of July. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, as the kind of like, it's the same exact thing that I said, okay? When I said that the Three of Cups is what's working against you, like, like you know, come, something coming together in love is what's working against you, okay? It's because you're stressing yourself out, okay? You're, you're stressing yourself out about whether it's going to be successful or not. And it's like once you release that control, okay, the six of wands, once you once you release that control of worrying about if something's gonna be successful or not, okay, then you'll get the love offer that you want. All right. Then that love offer will come through with that night, page of cups. Okay. 
Okay. Let's clarify the Hierophant and the outcome for Libra. What is this Hierophant here for? The fool, okay. Came out again, okay. Then you'll go after that commitment. You'll go after somebody, you or them. It's going to be ready to come um, go after that new beginning, that new committed beginning, okay? Like, yeah, I'm ready to do this now. I've been reviewing this, okay? I see what this is. Communication is going to come in in the outcome. Okay, once you get over that, try, you know, once you release that control, right? Communication is going to come in for a new beginning with the full energy. Communication is going to come in. It's going to come in fast, all right? About coming together with the lover's energy, Okay, that's going to be a divine connection. It's like somebody knows, they know, even though with the Queen of Swords, they try and block it. All right, because they have been taking some time to review. All right, and you're taking time to review too. All right. So now they're ready for commitment. But don't try to control the situation. Get out your head with it. Just release and let God. And that's what I have for you, Libra. All right, let's get you a journey message, twin flame journey message. Whew, and then I'm doing a craze, and then I'm going to sleep. No, I'm not. I'm not going to go to sleep. I'm going to go watch TV. <laughs> All right, for Libra. What message do we have for them? First half of July. Okay. It says, I'm trying to take responsibility for my actions right now. Please know this. Okay, maybe they try to change or something. They'll show you that they know they messed up and they try and do things different. All right, or whatever. <laughs> come on, give me another one for Libra. Maybe this person's like, all right, I, I see what I did. I mean, come on. <laughs> or it can be you. Apply how it fits. All right, and then they say, I'm trying to think of what I want to say to you, okay? So you might not have been talking to this person, or maybe this person hasn't said anything to you, or maybe um, you know you've effed up and you want to, you know, fix it, and so you're trying to figure out what you want to say to them, or vice versa. Apply with how it fits. Well, that's what I have for you, Libra, and I hope this helped. I look forward to talking to you guys soon. We in July already, y'all. Uh, 2020. Okay, I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye. I miss you guys already. Bye-bye.